Uh, on Monday this week, we lost our beloved drivers, seven drivers, which were ambushed in a place called Arapapa. Moreover, even the trucks, but first we have one to restore the dead bodies, then after the, tr the five trucks which were burned, we shall go it, we'll go it about later. Today, very early in the morning, we, we, uh, four trucks landed in an ambush in a place called Magui after about two kilometers from Aru Junction. They killed one driver who was the Eritrean, who was driving a truck. And others, we don't know where, where they are, but we are still following it with our counterpart in Juba. Uh, we have talked to our people in Mombasa, our counterpart, uh, KTA, Kenya Transport Association, not to load the cargo going to southern Sudan because of the insecurity. Obviously, as, uh, as UPDF we are concerned, but we also take uh, note of the fact that that is a sovereign state. We do not deploy there, but however, the two countries at the diplomatic level are in negotiations and always in talks between the, our, uh, our the foreign affairs, internal affairs, to make sure that obviously the government of South Sudan does what it is supposed to do to make sure that all the, the, the people that are there are protected. Remember when they are there, they are under the jurisdiction and the protection and the security of the government where they are. So, but not that we are not concerned, we are really highly concerned. I wish we would be allowed really to enter there and, and do the needful. Let's not blame the government of Southern Sudan. These activities are done by individuals, they are not done by government. We already know that we have more bodies remaining on the other side, so we still have a long way to go. So we are going to continue uh, working to see that the other bodies come, but also to work with the, our counterparts to see that these things don't continue happening. So we still have a long way to go.